Episode 005. Title is currently unknown, but just gonna have a conversation here. Nothing too special, nothing too flashy. Again, just two guys having a conversation about whatever intri- intrigues us. But how you doing today, buddy? Good. You? Good, 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 good. Man, which, I'm fucking... which, by the way, uh, we haven't really introduced ourselves, but my name is Pedro. My name is Moses. Yeah, and we're, we're two brothers. Just talking along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Honestly, it, <clears throat> intellects came about because we some we just be having some good conversations about things that interest us, and we were like, you know, what if we just fucking film ourselves? And yeah, and those con- conversations kind of came about just uh, we were mostly just sitting in the living room, just talking or drinking or something. Yeah, and then. We'd be like, bro, we talk about good. F- I mean, for us, good <laughs> shit. And yeah, I don't know. We were just like, fuck it. We just record ourselves. And then we love history. We love, we oh, love yeah. stuff that goes around the world. We like to stay informed mm-hmm. with no bias shit and being very, very neutral about things. So we don't jump to conclusions right away. If yeah. this happened, why did it happen? What caused it to happen? And keep and shut the fuck up until you actually know or if you actually did some digging. Yeah, that's it, what that's what I think. That's why I like how we do how we do things. You it, know, especially at a time where most likely anything that you hear, whether it's on one side or the other, it's always one story. Very little do people hear two stories, and that goes across anything. Fucking propaganda Hi- machines, bro. It, it goes across anything. History, mainstream, yeah. mainstream or, academics, or new up-and-coming people that might not have a title, but they, they have the knowledge to speak about it. Also, headline headline reading. Oh, yeah, fucking... And, yeah. I mean, I've done it. I do it. <laughs> yeah. I sometimes, and then I just, like, read it, read it to it. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. It was not that. But, uh like we said we're just gonna have a conversation and just you know just see what where this ends up yeah um but one thing i did want to talk about because we already have kind of a little bit lined up uh to shoot for the next for the next few few days or for the like for the rest of the month basically Mm -hmm. but what i kind of wanted to talk about is well we're getting to the end of the year we're getting to the end of the year uh we're going to start a new year, 2024, you know, bless us all. Hopefully everything goes well. And I kind of wanted to just talk about, you know, just give, you know, leave with good vibes and start with good vibes and that, you know, a, a lot of stuff of that. You know, I learned a lot. I'm a person that just, you know, came from some closed mindset and very... How do I say it? A lot of like a lot of people are too detached from reality. Not saying that I was, but sometimes you have to kind of know your purpose. And and once you do find your or know your purpose, um, you I don't know. I feel like you can do anything you want to do. Yeah. So so we're nobody, but we started this. And we're going to continue doing this for us and always do everything for yourself. Don't do it for, obviously, we're, we thank our viewers uh, who who watch us and, you know, even comments, whatever. But, you know, we kind of, it's, we do stuff that intrigues us. And, you know, obviously when we get bigger or hopefully we get bigger, we'll show, you know, we'll talk with the community and be like, all right, what do you want? What do you want us to talk about this and this and that? For sure, for sure. But. Yeah, it's very important to stay attached to what is reality because in a time of age where we have, like we mentioned in the previous podcast, we, we're we enclosed in atmospheres that don't benefit the human mind. And then that plus mindlessly scrolling through feed, it's, <clears throat> not, doing that shit. It, it's, yeah. not, it's not good mm-hmm. for your brain. Uh, you, you just feed your dopamine receptors and you get filled up with a bunch of junk and just remember just remember who you are remember your foundation remember where you want to go uh because 
even though you start that path, you can get away from it real quick. Yeah. I, I, I've done it multiple times this year. This year was one of those years that I remember when I was, when I was planning how my year was going to go out. I remember what goals I wanted to reach. I reached some of those goals and I failed to meet expectations and other goals. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is because I fall off track and I just get, get back up. I, I get consumed with, with whatever environment is around me, whether it's for good or for bad. And I lose track of my true purpose. Um, but th th that, that's, that, that's a good thing that you came up with because finding your purpose really is, really is the foundation of who one is. Yeah. And, uh, I've also, <clears throat> I used to f fill up my mind with stupid shit, like literally stupid fucking dumb, funny videos. And I'm not saying that I don't watch those yet, you know, again, but, uh, not entertaining yourself too much to that bullshit. But then also I, then I stopped doing that and then I informed myself, with a bunch of good shit, but also that, you know, there has to be a balance to it. Cause now, oh, yeah. now everything I watch is, I mean, my algorithm is just a bunch of camera shit, uh, technology and, you know, maybe some, a little bit of politics or here, you know, here and there. And even when you consume some of that, it's like, all right, it can get too overwhelming where, you know, oh, yeah. where you gotta have a balance and also learn to, you know, not let it control you even though because i mean even when we're out and about like sometimes you know like let's say for example when we do some like minor work or something mm -hmm. and i'm detached from reality sometimes you feel like you, you feel like a part is of you know of you is missing because it's your phone and it's just weird it's like what the fuck i shouldn't feel like this yeah it's weird now it's like oh if i'm not here i'm not gonna have contact with you with you i'm like bro this only came about within fucking a few years like yeah, 15 years. yeah 15 fucking years when we were you know well less because we I, you know I, I you know i remember the day i remember the day <laughs> that uh i gotta put my shit on on uh focus have you done yours but uh you, you know zone. you know i remember the day that we were walking uh we were in you were in elementary and i would go pick you up and we lived in those fucking in those trailers and i remember when we were walking down by next to those apartments and i was like remember when there's you know there's gonna come out with some smartphones that's stupid a smartphone that's <laughs> fucking dumb yeah remember that? yeah i, I, do I don't know why that fucking memory always comes yeah like, i don't know like i remember when i stock shit look at me now yeah <laughs> fucking hypocrite that's the progress that's the progression that's innovation that's yeah and evolution and, and also like little by little you 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 need to build yourself up little by little it's not gonna happen overnight it's not gonna happen you know now and realizing that will get you a long ways because mm -hmm. us we started running uh and we did a half marathon uh, you did no uh, yeah you did yeah, a half marathon right yeah. you did two half marathons well i did a half marathon and i was running and running i was i was doing very very well um and then it fell off when i got injured after you know when I after my injury and then after that I went to back to physical therapy but then I kind of just fell off and stopped running but also you know that's when that's when winter kind of came about and and uh you know now I'm just I'm not making excuses at all but what I'm saying is that uh you know you fall off those things but you got to just get back up and just get to it bud you know yeah um personally running running saved my life I was when I discovered running I was in a very dark place and not not necessarily dark to where it's kind of like not suicidal I, shit. I, no, not or not that. Nothing like that. It was just dark in the in the aspect that You're not my growing. my life wasn't my not my life. It, it had no progression. It had no mm -hmm. growth to it. I was I was going out every other weekend. I was drinking. I was I wasn't really doing nothing. I was working, and my my work hustle was perfectly fine. I was I was making good money. But but that's where it was at. All I do, I, I make good money, save it, spend it on the weekends, and it's just a cycle of, of, of darkness and no progression. And when I found running, running not only kept me away from alcohol, which those that know me knew, know that I fucking, I was a hard drinker. And running not only saved me from that, but it saved me from 
having better health. And not only did it save me from physical and mentally, or sorry, from, from a physical aspect, but it saved me from a mental aspect. <clears throat> I, I'm a much, I, we, were, we were always hard we was we were always hard people, you know. We we didn't grow up in the best environments, but running saved me to the fact that now I I can work for something. Or now, it, I heard this quote, uh, and it's a very simple quote. It's like two words, and it's always choose hard, never choose easy. Mm-hmm. And running was always choosing hard. You know, it once you evolve from being able to run um, half a mile, you run a mile next. And then once you do that, and then you just keep on pushing yourself and running saved me in that aspect. It saved me in both. It, it translates across everything. It translates across my personal life. It translates across my business life. It translates across everything. And running was that for me. It was just like you said, you know, you start off with running a mile, then you run a 5k and then you push yourself and mm-hmm. you run a 10k yeah. and then you push yourself and you run a half marathon yeah. and then after that it's the sky's the limit yeah i'm gonna fucking say this right now but we're gonna do that seven marathon uh one day i'm not saying when but you know we'll, we'll do those seven mar- seven, we're gonna get that seven marathon medal yeah is it, seven, is, is it? yes yeah. there's uh the seven major marathons yeah. of the world yeah so that's that's our, what our goal but after that see that's the thing that a lot of people would do you do something good and you hit that peak and then you just fall. Oh, what do I do now? Yeah. And that's one of those things that you just got to keep going, keep going. And obviously like, fuck dude, I love David, David Goggins and shit. I put David Goggins as my fucking ringtone or as my, you know, as my, uh, just as, to wake up. And as your alarm. and now when I make the, when I make, when we make that home gym, I'm gonna fucking just be listening to motivation. So you can just listen to that one hour thing. Just fucking go at it. Yeah. But, um, just like I said, finding your purpose and keep going. It's it, you're never gonna have good day. You're not you're not always gonna have good days. And what I like is, um, uh, yeah, I think it was David Goggins. He's like, he said, "Who the fuck are you on those days you don't want to do it? Who the fuck are you mm. when you know? Yeah, it's easy to fucking go run when it's nice and sunny and it's a good weather. But who the fuck are you when it's not? And I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> so one time, sometimes when I literally don't want to like mm, go out to work because. Uh, sometimes you just fuck cool or you just you just feel like that. I just put him on. I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go. It's so, hard. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, you know, it, it's hard. It, it's hard, but choosing your hard. It's and, gonna be hard being. It's hard being a fucking bum, but it's also, oh my, goodness. you know, it's 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 hard doing this, but it's also hard being a fucking bum. Yeah, and it's I, hard. I, yeah, fucking waking up early, but it's also, you know, everything is. You have to choose your heart. It just depends it's, on what you want. Once you find your purpose, it's not about, oh, fuck, I reached my goal. It's And then it's finding another higher goal. It's about developing a lifestyle around, mm-hmm. around you know, everything that's positive. Uh, you mentioned David Goggins. You meant, I'll mention Cameron Haynes. Cameron Haynes is another fucking guy that he's, this guy runs a marathon every day. Wakes up in the morning, runs fucking seven miles, goes to work, runs during his lunchtime. He runs another fucking seven miles. It comes home, finishes off the marathon. He runs up a fucking mountain. He picks up a rock from the bottom of the mountain, runs with a fucking boulder all the way to the Is top it of the mountain. Two pound boulder, I think. It's I was fucking, just noticing yeah. that fucking Huberman went on it. Yeah, and, and he did it. <laughs> and this guy does it every single day. It's his lifestyle. Courtney DeWalter, she is. Courtney DeWalter is she, she's a ultra run she's an ultra marathon runner so it's she runs like a hundred mile races two hundred mile races she is the best ultra marathon runner in the world mm. out of both women and males damn and and she 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 t- she says that it's normal to her it's it's her lifestyle and it's about that you you guys gotta you gotta stay ready you oh shit oh. And I'm not saying that this is me now, but this is what I'm looking to be in the future. Whoever I am now will always will be a different person in the future, and I would always search for progression. But but D- David Goggins, he 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 doesn't train for marathons, and he says to himself, he's like, why, why the fuck would I train for a marathon? Yeah, Let, let's go running right now. Yeah. You gotta stay ready. stay ready. That's what I love. I love that stuff, and and that applies to everything though. That applies to everything. That doesn't like just apply to running. That applies to every single thing. Like, oh, you want to go hiking? 
let's go. Let's, mm-hmm. I'm ready. You know, you want to, I don't know, start something. Let's go. You know, having it, it can be physically, but also mentally, though. And that that's one of those things where I, you know, same as me, you know, I was always a, a like a hard drinker. Not really hard, but it's just we drink every weekend type mm-hmm. of thing. And now leaving that and because running, you know, I think we just were hard asses on each other. And you were like, oh, if you're if you're running, better just stop drinking. And I've seen people that run and run and they still drink. But then I'm like, that's, that's not me, though. You know, you do that. I'm not going to do that. And when you see what alcohol does to your body and how you feel after and then how you perform the next day, that's you won't realize it until you do that mm-hmm. where you're like, fuck. Yeah. I you know, and, yeah. and it's one of those things where, you, I mean, rain, running saved my life, but also like it, like you said, it's something that you realize where I'm like, oh, I didn't, ha- I didn't know I had this in me. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. I had this in me. I didn't know I could run this much. I'm woof fuck you know like so it's like one of those things where we're choosing the right heart you know yeah um uh, again running for us translates across more than just the physical sport um and if you think you know who you are now what it doesn't it doesn't matter if if you if you don't if you can't run long distance or it because running running isn't about running fast it's about it's about again running translates to life as well uh life is a marathon not mm-hmm. a sprint and and if you think you know who you are now at least for me i promise you i didn't know who the fuck i was <clears throat> until until we were training and we were training for a half marathon and and i've never ran 11 miles in my life before but i knew who i was when i pushed myself through all that pain through all that suffering through that real quote which is blood sweat and tears yeah and and i never ran in any longer than fucking 11 miles in my life before and for my birthday when i ran 24 miles for my birthday that was the longest that i've ever ran in my entire life without any training that's when i found out who i was because i felt like i was fucking gonna die (laughs) and my ribs like i i have videos of that too maybe really yeah maybe maybe we'll pop we'll pop something for the for you guys to see but like I was making some fucking weird noises because at mile twenty three, one mile left, like I wanted to fucking quit. I like I want I wanted to quit at mile fourteen, but but again, there's life, ref, there's different things that reflect across life, and I wouldn't have ran twenty four miles that day if it wasn't for my girl, mm-hmm. and then she she stuck by me the entire time, and then at mile 15 when you showed up like that was just some support that i've never had before and and it also goes to show that always 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 be in a pack you know uh, you, you see wolves wolves always travel in pack mm-hmm. because there's tr- there's strength in numbers and and at when i figured out who i really was and when i pushed myself i seen who was around me and it was and it was support uh-huh so it, it's not all about just being hard on yourself and, you know, pushing yourself. It's about surrounding yourself with people that will also push you to that be will, a better person. That will get you better. You are who you hang around with. Yeah. And like I said, you know, I very much, I very much uh, have distanced myself away from people. And it's not because I don't like them. It's just because, you know, that's. You know, I, I have different, I, I have different goals. You know, I honestly just kind of honestly just hang out with you and, and my, and my girl basically, but we talk about what we're going to do and we're not, you know, just talking about some stupid shit. (laughs) Well, every fucking conversation we have is just about growing and growing and growing. And, you know, at first I used to want to be successful and whatnot before 30 and this and that and it's why 30 why 30 like I, you know we can still make it at 55 55 bro we, boom 50 50 55 even if we like made it at that time that's 10 years before the retirement age yeah. we got a whole life ahead of us you know yeah. god you know god willingly but 
yeah, I don't know. It's, you know, people won't understand until you actually, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, people have asked me if, why I've changed. But it's like, why is that rhetorical? That's, that's some little rhetorical. Like, I don't know. It's just like, I think one always has to find change. You have to, you, you fucking have to. And if you don't, you're gonna stay fucking behind. Yeah, for and that I, I really like I really like motivating people, uh, because we come from a single mother home and we fucking never made excuses. We've never fucking made excuses. We've always done what we wanna do, we've always had what we wanna have. You know, the most important thing is always health, but uh, you know, and it's like shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck up, get to it. Like I don't know. I've heard so much people with excuses, and I'm like, <laughs> excuses don't get you nowhere. At, at the it end does, of the day, and, and remember, don't... remember, you know what hit? Remember when you told me, and I'm pretty sure you remember when I was trying to build up like this camera, this camera kind of like shooting people, shooting vids, and editing, and trying to get into that. And you, and I was telling you, and telling you, and telling you, and telling you, you're like, shut the fuck up. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm literally not gonna listen to you until mm-hmm. you do something. Remember that. Well, I was like, all right, bitch. I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, mm-hmm. all right. But yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't hateful for it. I was like, I was like, all right, bitch. Is is you know, damn, yeah. watery, but um, yeah, it's because. Uh, but but no, but I remember you you told me that, and I'm like, well, he fucking has a point. Well, you fucking have a point. Mm-hmm. And then what 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 happened? <laughs> what happened after that? Well, yeah. you literally have seen that progress, and you know what I can do, and. You know, um, and making this into a business is gonna, you know, it's is you know the next step, and you know I'm be a fight, you know. Yeah, if 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 you guys want to hear the single most greatest piece of advice that you will ever hear across all platforms, across anything, whether it's sports, whether it's business, whether it's whatever, and this this I didn't come up with this. I I have a you want some? I have a business mentor. Uh-huh. And he told me this, the single greatest piece of advice that you guys will ever hear, as long as you apply it, the sky's the limit. It's to take action. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're fucking, oh, I want to build my rig, oh, this and that. Work with what you got, buddy. You got mm-hmm. a fucking phone. You got, you, you, you don't need a camera to learn how to edit. Yeah. Take action. Yeah. And whatever you guys are, quit fucking talking at the end of the day. <laughs> talking yep. is not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. Especially telling people what you're gonna do. There's actually Huberman talks about it. If you tell people that you're gonna do something or, or oh fuck, I'm gonna start this business, blah blah this, oh fuck, I'm gonna run a fucking marathon, this or that. The more people you tell about that, the less likely you are to follow through. This is a this and, is a real stat. Like I said, that makes fucking sense because I feel like I was I was in that fucking limbo as mode. All right, you know, and it, I was in that limbo mode, and I'm not saying because of running or after we completed that half marathon. But um, in a way, I felt like I com- I accomplished something. So it's like, uh, you know, I can take a break. Or I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. And, you know, and that was when I realized I'm like, you know, when you're like, I'm not going to listen to you anymore. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, all right. So I want you to listen to me. So let me let me fucking show you what the fuck I'm worth, bitch. Exactly. So, yeah. And it's one of those things where I'm like, all right, bitch. Well, I want you to listen to me. And I'm going to fucking show you. I could have been a fucking pussy and been like, <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or something yeah. like that. But it fucking take action, bro. Take yeah. fucking action. Shut and, the fuck up. And and what what follows after that? Action speaks louder than words. Yeah. It's something that we all hear too often. Yeah. And which, and is, now, which is true. Now I now I do this and, and you know, it's... 2024 is gonna be a fucking phenomenal year, and I, you know, 2023 was just a warm up year, but bud, mm-hmm. just a warm up year, bud. 2024 is, you know, is gonna be different, and um, it's gonna show. I don't need to fuck. I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Why? Oh, I'm gonna talk about it, and it's not that. It's not that I'm gatekeeping. It's just why am I gonna? If I say that, next you know, I'm not gonna do it. Exactly. You feel me? So then shut the fuck look up. Like a yeah, boof. Yeah, yeah. So it's like just take action and. You know, uh, once we get our, you know, home gym, it, I feel like I always wanted to have a healthy life, but it was 
the alcohol shit was fucking just fucking you up, bro. Like it's just yeah, it's, it's one of those things where you have a good healthy life, you're not drinking, and the next you know you hit it, and then you just ah, you know, sorry, mm-hmm. drink, fuck, I'm gonna keep drinking. But now I'm that mentality changes like, yeah. And then once you realize what alcohol actually does your body, and the, the you know, there's zero benefits. I'm to like, it. holy fuck. I mean, right now, like 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 last night, I made I made some glue vine, which. Whoever knows what glue vine is, pretty fucking good. Mm-hmm. You, like it? you like it? Yeah, I like it. I like it. It's a nice. I, I want you to have it at a Christmas, like a Christmas uh, marketplace, though. I feel I like you, that's the only way that I really enjoy it. Like, I like having it for like our special dinners, mm-hmm. but like it's to sip it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. It's little, really? Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, it's, I'm a it's I'm a bitter type of guy. Nice, nice cold whiskey uh, is is how mm-hmm. I like to enjoy a drink. Mm-hmm. Um. But, but I, I want, is, but I want you to, and we should, we should actually hit, hit one up. We should, ha- we should hit one up a little Christmas market. It's, it'll be, it'll be fun. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's just, but I know what it's doing to me, and I know what I need to do to not let it. You feel me? Like I'm not, I'm not going out to dr- just drink anymore. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I'm not gonna do that anymore because I, I already know my body performs way better, my mind it works way better. I'm not. All those years that I feel like I've honestly, I don't regret. But you I don't feel like it's thrown away. Yeah. And I feel that at 26. I feel that at 26, bro. And luckily, I found it at 26. People don't fucking find out until they're 50, mm. until they're 60, until maybe they're 70. They're like, you know, and and that's where I'm like, all right, I enjoyed that time, you know. And maybe, and thank, thanks to God, he's probably the one that was like, hey, bro, enjoy it right now because you're going to find your actual purpose and you're going to. Not even mm-hmm. go back to it, and 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 it's not to say that alcohol is yeah. is all bad, but it's it's all to say that you just have to have your control over mm-hmm. it. Is the main part, and, of and it. after you have to be in charge, bro. I would fucking I'd fucking be looking forward to a weekend to to drink or a Friday yeah. or a Thursday or, and if I didn't, I would be like. You know, I wasn't yeah. an ad. I don't think I was an addict. I think because I always, I don't think I've ever became some sort of addict because I just know how to control myself. But it was one of those things where I'm like, all right, let's, let's go out and do something. But no, now it's just. I will tell you one thing. Two years ago, to the person that you become now, unrecognizable. I think. Yeah. I think anybody that knows, knows who you me. are, yeah, you're completely unrecognizable. Yeah, and that only came from me. I only did that for me. I didn't do it, you know, for my girl that I respect. I didn't do it for you. I didn't do it for my mom, which initially I'm doing it for you guys. But you have to do it for yourself first. You can't help no one if you haven't <laughs> yeah. helped yourself first. So, you know, once I started realizing that, I'm just like, all right, bro, you're mm-hmm. not fucking, you're not fucking 20 anymore. You know, you're not 18. Get to work, bitch. I, yeah. And and you know what you know what I think what what uh, kind of was mind fogging me or I see was having a good like successful kind of career. Mm. You know, you feel like you're doing everything good. You feel like you can get away with shit. You feel like you know. And the reason why I like that we that I'm like this is because. If everything goes well in, our, in in the next years, I won't ever let that shit get to me. Mm-hmm. So I let it get to me now when I don't have nothing, you know, when I'm nothing, nobody. But thanks to that, now I'm like, all right, I knew where I know, you know. So I kind of humble my own self. And yeah. I was also like, well, I'm, I'm making, you know, I'm having a good job, making good money. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And now it's just like, now it's like, nah, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I so I just wanna. I really want to. I mean, anyone could reach out to us, and we're always open for for good talks. But it's just you know, it has to be. You have to show me more that you want it than you know than just talk about it. I can have conversations with fifteen thousand people and maybe three. You know what? You know what's hit me. I've seen a lot of people that I know out at sites. And I always tell them, yeah, bro, I'll hook you with the job or, you know, I'll get you into this, you know, since so you can leave your whatever labor and stuff. And I gave my out my cards 
probably let's just say let's say five times and five five of those times I give out like five of cards. So all those times that I give out my card, I've had no calls. I've gotten, you know, no calls, no like hey. So that that shows me something. Talking doesn't get you nowhere, buddy. I'm telling you, action. This is the best single piece of advice that mm-hmm. anybody can take across anything. Yeah, and you know, I, I hate I hate new I hate New Year's because people are like, oh, New Year, new me, all that bullshit, bro. Start fucking now. Start fucking now. Mm-hmm. You don't need a fucking number to start a month, a fake. That's all fucking just for yeah. time's sake. But you don't need that. You start now. That and that's that's what I've been doing. Where if I need to do something, I just do it right there. Why? Why am I gonna wait? If you show me something, why am I going to wait till after the pod to fucking do it? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I need to write down this fucking thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're just going to look forward to a fresh start and then start for a <laughs> week or two, month or two. Yeah. And then just fall off the wagon yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. It's... And gyms love that. Gyms love that. Every fitness person fucking loves that shit. And it's like, nah, just start now. No, um... Fuck, dude. Um, when I when I started my business, when I started my business, I started it with very little experience, and I fucking I I fed myself to the wolves. I fed myself to the wolves, but I was like, why start later? And why I would just get experience on the on the fly. Mm-hmm. And probably the for, best thing. It was the best thing that I do. You lost, you I, failed. I lost, I failed, but I got back on the horse and I got myself in a better position. And the sky, you know, honestly, now the sky's the limit. I have, I, I, luckily I was, I, I opened up many doors and some, some doors were closed. Some bridges were burnt, but that's the unfortunate way of life. Mm-hmm. But if it wasn't for that taking action, thing or if it wasn't for that not giving up i'm what four or five years into it now and four or five years four or five years already yeah four yeah and that's (laughs) and that's that's not four years of prosperity it's honestly three or four years of pure fucking hell and (laughs) one year of prosperity but that's what it takes and 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 people are so like out of touch with reality or something thinking that it's this is some overnight shit bro if you don't understand that you that it's going to be hard that the process is going to be hard it's going to might take five it might take ten it might take you know if you don't realize that you're not going to succeed in whatever you want to do you can become anything you want i really have never doubted myself i'm not at the place i want to be but i know in when i look at this video in 10 years i know i will be where i want to be yeah you know hopefully you know hopefully i'm not fucking dead you know and maybe that's because that's not where i want to be but like yeah you know god willingly like i i'm gonna i've never doubt myself i know i can go where i know i can go places that many people think that it's too far to reach but it's like no never nothing is literally impossible you're gonna get beat up but you gotta get back up every single fucking time and it, it's not a it's not a one-way trip like i said i mean f- four three years of hardships i could have given up at any time yeah and it's it's not just that it's also running like i currently i i quit on running i'm not mm. where i was i I do jogs get here and to there. It, bitch. Get to it. That's exactly right it, now. man. Honestly, right now Let's this fucking, fucking go right now. This conversation is getting me hyped up, dude. We'll fucking put on our fucking shoes and, and it's cold. It's fucking twenty. That's nah, thirty-seven degrees. It's not bad. But that's uh, here in Iowa. That's fucking warm. But 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 I want us to work on running this winter because we're not gonna fucking get on a treadmill anymore. No, nah, I fucking hate treadmills. But we're gonna work on running and and I'm gonna be like, oh, you. I'm going to motivate you and you should motivate me uh, and be like, all right, it's fucking five degrees out. Let's go. Let's fucking go. And that will build us character. Trust. Choose, choose hard. Always yep. choose hard. Yep. Never, never quit taking the easy, easy road. Um, Yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy to, and I'm sure you're, you guys can just reflect on your own life to see where you were and where you are and to think of that light at the end of the tunnel of where you will be. Yeah. And, and you and never, never lose sight never of the bigger lose sight picture. Of it. Never lose sight of it. 
I understand that it's not also it's n- never easy. You yeah, know? life happens and life continues, and you may lose a job, you may lose, you know, you may unfortunately lose a family member, lose something. But there's always something. I always think I think stuff happens for a reason, whether it's good or bad. You know, it it's the way you view it. If you lose a girl. You know, or, it, guy. It was, or guy, yeah, or guy. It's not. I don't know. It's it's not. It's not the end of the world, bro. If you lose a job, there's many of jobs out there, especially right now in age. You know, mm-hmm. and just it. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I I come from fucking working at Hardee's. At Hardee's when I was fucking. You know all this stuff. Remember. Remember when I would bust fucking ass to like eleven? Yeah, a fucking little. I was looking at my checks. I seen. I was. I was cleaning something. And I seen. I seen the checks. Check. Yeah, it was cute. It was, dude. I was. That was no part time. I was fucking like sixteen, seventeen, putting in like fucking eighty hours in yeah. two weeks, making. You know how much I would make? I'd make like three hundred bucks a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn. And I remember it. I'd be busting ass, but that. That's the character that I have. That I am. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter where the fuck where the fuck I am at and how much I make, you know. So now now that I built myself up, it's like I've been down there. I know I can do it and I know I can still keep going. Mm-hmm. It, this is not where it ends. Yeah. And it's all about developing that character. It's, it's the mind. It's the mind and until you until you realize who the fuck you are, you're not going to get get there first. Uh great you know you know what's greater than the mind? What? Your subconscious. Just your subconscious, your, your mind. You can manipulate your mind at times and everything, but you know what? You being can't manipulate. Being delusional, being delusional. Exactly. You can you can think that you're in a better position than what you really is, but you know what? You can't Ooh. change your subconscious mind. Ah. You're, that's 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 the one thing that truly defines whether you have that dog in you to to hustle it out, whether you have that dog in you to to look for to choose hard or. It, or if your subconscious mind quits, if you develop your subconscious mind, that's that's where you truly have the power to manipulate your life in however way you see fit. Yeah, just just true. think of you mentioned Hardee's, but do you remember what was before Hardee's when you were even younger? Yeah, uh, the paper route. Yeah. Oh fuck the paper. Yeah, we we were we were paper boys. We were fucking. Fuck that fucking. Sucked. Dude, I I think that I fucking sucked. I was in sixth seventh grade, a young fucking buck. <laughs> And we had to wake up at fucking three, two, two three in the morning. We have to in the winter too. We did it in the winter. Oh my god! And then we have to fucking make, go to the warehouse, make our papers, uh, newspapers, and then r- run a block. And we, we did it. We did that for a while. <laughs> and that's our subconscious mind. Little young bucks. Yeah, uh, maybe we wanted and money. And then we would go to school after and that. Then, and then we would go to school oh after that. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe we wanted remember, money. Maybe we didn't want to get up. Remember yeah. we I think there was a lot of days where I was like, fuck this. I was yeah. just it's not worth it. But I was making fuck. That's yeah, it's, crazy. It's your subconscious mind that And then before that I remember being super young and our cousin having that tortilla. Oh yeah. A little the mm-hmm. tortilla shop and uh getting up for that early and just going at it and it yeah, that's fucking crazy. And I was young. Mm-hmm. It was young, and it's just like I think I've built character since then. And everything does happen for like for the good or for the bad. I could have been like fuck that, and just been a lazy piece of shit. But mm-hmm. and it, building character doesn't necessarily reflect to a job or to a hustle or yeah. working. It just reflects to choosing that hard is what I I how I view it. And you know what? Also, I think that kind of builds some type of character is. Uh, Doing shit you don't want to do. True, you're hard. Doing shit you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Because there's some shit I don't want to do. And I'm like, do it. Because that will just not leave it. Oh, I don't want to fucking go in these fucking tree areas. I don't want to go, you know, this and that. Just do it. Remember we fucking do roofing? I don't want to fucking put a bundle to do it. Yeah. At Bill's care. Like, it's just. Not only that, but not doing something that is the that's the that's the start of stress like oh yeah leaving things yep. to, le- leaving things i don't to know go if by i don't know if you've seen that 
I just pop in the kit or the kitchen and then I just I see dish and I start washing them. I don't want to do them. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, fuck it. Not me. I fucking see? hate washing dishes. <laughs> see, but you see that I'm just doing it. I just you just want. You're probably like, what the fuck? This guy just came in here and washed dishes. It's for that reason. Cause just do it right there. Uh, let me tell you uh, a quote relating uh, relating stress in particular by um, Marcus Aurelius. He's probably the the greatest emperor of Rome. And it goes like this: If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it. And this you have the power to revoke at any moment. We control our thoughts. We control, we choose to have stress or we choose to take control of the situation to avoid stress. This quote by this fucking guy, it, the most powerful man at the time, at his time, it's, it, it's. You just talk about the Roman Empire, maybe before the year ends. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> We'll see what goes through. I, th- I think we're in a good little flow of starting to kick out episodes, hopefully every week. E- every every week. But but just take control. It's yeah. all about taking control. I think, uh, like I said, like I said, I just, let's leave right now and why i don't know i just honestly probably brought that up it's december it's december 3rd it's early but like why people are like oh why don't you just do this at the beginning of the year why 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 wait yeah. let's fucking do it now which we didn't plan on talking about this but like now i was like hey let's talk about you know leaving 2023 behind and hopefully we learned a few lessons and that's one thing also whatever you Whatever knowledge you gain, whatever you've learned, you know, do something with it. Don't just, you know, yeah, not yeah. do anything. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things that I would have trouble with. I'd gain all this knowledge and I'll do nothing with it until you told me to shut the fuck up, bro. I'm not listening to you. And boom. Yeah, that's that's why this began, because all this, like like you said, we're fascinated with history we're fascinated with uh new information and old information and and all our conversations were about some fucking weird shit conspiracies history what do you think about this what do you think about that but all our knowledge that we talked about it didn't go anywhere yeah it doesn't go anywhere yeah and now with intellects we can filter it through here and make something of that knowledge not only get more accurate knowledge because you know on our day-to-day conversations when we don't have a camera pointing at us you know our our not or our information or our fact checking you know there's we don't have none and we just shoot from the hip when we just yeah. talk about that stuff and yeah but here we're able to not only develop on our knowledge but to really dial it in with mm-hmm. facts and and the truth yeah and also not only that but like i feel like we we don't change personalities when we're off or on camera that's what i like about us mm. that's one thing that i'm going to we're going to 100% do and be I, very unbiased people and you know yeah. like the way we're talking to each other or with the cameras rolling is the way we talk to each other when we're downstairs mm-hmm. or something i might i might cuss a little less on here but yeah that's that's about it <laughs> so but it's like it's the same thing we bring up conversations and we're like no nah, fuck you're wrong this and that this and that or you know this, but we just we're fucking the same people where the what do you what do you think about about this about intellects what do you think about it or at about first honestly where you wanted to go well to? honestly if you really want to tell you at first i didn't want to do it first <laughs> i didn't want to do it at first i was like ah, you know we'll do it but like you know but then we start I'm like, dude, that's a fucking cool, like, thing to have. Um, if I ever even want to know about this, I'll just go listen to my pod, you know, or something, you know? Yeah. But where I want this to go is uh, just actually explore. I want, you know, I feel like our human, our human, what we are known to be, we're explorers. We like adventuring. We like uh, to see if we can find the unknown. And I think what what I want to do is is... Maybe had podcasts and you know, uh, 
maybe not maybe maybe obviously still have podcasts but maybe show people what we're talking about in real life yeah. go to these sites and uh, and talk about why this why that this I, is what we're talking about and shoot good you know i think some I, cool content i, I think, think that's, that's where it. i want to see I, I i do too especially because we we just talk about plus we want to travel to those places too yeah. though it's like we we're gonna do it anyways might as well do something maybe i'm not saying maybe make the trip about it because we also want to enjoy some like you know vacation time mm -hmm. away from the cameras but fuck vacation hustle 24 yeah, 7 fine. you know fuck it yeah that's true and uh yeah, you're absolutely right because the conversation that we come up, obviously, it's not, it's not our research, or sorry, it is our research and it is our knowledge about it. But we get it from people that have been there. Yeah, and I think it, it, our, our topics will have a little bit more meaning if we say, we we've been there, we have seen it with our own eyes, not just coming from, um, um you know, an archaeologist yeah. or an author or anybody yeah uh, and and yeah i think i think i really wanted this this the this podcast to filter you know whatever goes through our brains but but i think what intellects can stand for is even greater than just yes our conversation yes. it's 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 the unknown it's it in intel it, you know it, until not that we're intellectual people but it's developing that it's being intellectual about the topics that we talk about, you know, try to talk about the truth whenever we, the information that we have about, you know, certain things. And then X unknown, that's the X stands unknown. for the unknown. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a little short one, huh? I think so. But we, we didn't have, um, you know, how life's, how life's working out. Um, we didn't have much time, for this one because we're gaining knowledge for our next episode next episode is going to be a fucking banger fucking nah, banger don't say it. nah it's going to be a fucking yeah. banger maybe maybe our episode will be but yeah our, but i kind of i think was. i think what we wanted to come off of this is like maybe not some motivational stuff but like we honestly we're just going to talk and then we got yeah, yeah honestly, we actually never mind so i don't know why the fuck we went off on that <laughs> but but I think it was good to say it now that the the year is gonna end. Um, maybe maybe you're in this. Maybe whoever's watching is in a situ is in a dark spot, in a dark in a dark place. Because you know we've all been there, and we we might all go back to it one time. Visiting that visiting that dark place is never not bad. Mm -hmm. But you visit it and you get out of it and and build yourself up. Not visit and stay there. Yeah. But maybe you need this, and I think this is the best time to do it before the year ends and before the new year commences. Yeah, I like it as well. I think we definitely didn't have this in our mind. Yeah, but... I thought this was going to go way off on another thing, but but if you guys can take anything away from this conversation, again, take action. Action speak louder than words. And that quote by Marcus Aurelius, just keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind and keep action. Action is the best thing that you can do in anything. Action, take action to your mental health. Take action for your physical health. Take action for your for your personal life and your relationships with people. Take action in your business life and get that get that fucking money because this unfortunately this world is made out of that. You know, we we can't do anything without it. So take action with your business life as well. And yeah. uh but that's and, and take action like you know just like you said take action now yeah <laughs> take action now don't wait till tomorrow just so if you can you, take you, anything take you, that if you want to start working out in january 20 january uh the first do it now yeah do it now take take your own advice mm -hmm. don't wait for that fucking home gym delilah vente. i don't know if you guys knew but vente. <laughs> she's sleeping but this, she's part of our podcast as well. She's been in every yeah, podcast. You fucking little girl, asshole. She, she's been in every podcast. Her name is Delilah. She's our, uh, she's in our she's other, like, she's our other co-host, co-host. Yeah. She always, she's <laughs> yeah, literally she, like, I, like I, what I, the fuck? I think she, she was in, uh, our last one. She showed up on our last one a little bit. 
But yeah, Pedro, Moses, Delilah, intellects. And don't be intellects. afraid. Yeah. Intellects is here to stay for sure. For sure. And don't be afraid of maybe reaching a DM. Hey, how do you know? But take action. We're going to, I feel like we, we're here for the people and by the people. And we just, I think helping out, whether it's from information or whether it's from advice, I think I really found that to be some sort of way my purpose because i've been through some shit we you've been through some shit and we can always there's always a way out always a way out Mm -hmm. for sure for sure for sure that's it for me that's it for me too let's make it a nice little you know yeah all right guys well thank you very much for tuning in intellects out say bye mamas (laughs) thank you Thank you guys.